fear is something everybody has to overcome. Everybody has a fear of something, but like you say, it, it is what holds so many people back and that if you don't try, you'll never know if you could have been successful. I think that's probably one of the biggest regrets people have in life. So facing your fears is really the only way to have any chance of overcoming them. Uh, so I think it's important for people to face their fears, um, to empower themselves, uh, to achieve those goals that they want to set for themselves. I mean, uh, it's a commonality we all have. Uh, so I encourage everybody to go out and face their fears and to set goals for themselves and not let fear hold them back. Uh, just keep making those choices that take you in the direction you want to go. And uh, that isn't always easy, but uh, if you want something bad enough, it's, it's the best way to get there, just one step at a time. It's funny how sort of coincidental it was, me ending up doing this. Uh, I had worked on Jason Takes Manhattan as the stunt coordinator, the stunt double, and, and the fry cook who gets killed in that movie. When they came to Vancouver to uh, do Freddy vs. Jason, I had no idea that I would end up playing Jason. Um, when I interviewed for the stunt coordinating job, the producer asked me if I'd be interested in playing the character Jason. And uh, I had automatically assumed that Kane Hodder would be playing Jason. And uh, I, my first question was, well, what about Kane? And uh, the producer just said, well, they, they wanted to go in a different direction. Um, so I auditioned for this part, which was, I wore the mask, they did a close-up of my eyes, they read the opening scene, they had me walk around the room, they showed that to Ronnie Yu, and uh, I met with him and they, uh, and they gave me the part. Uh, I think partly it was based on the fact that I had already had some experience with the character, um, having done you know, Jason Takes Manhattan. So, uh, and actually the first phone call I got for Jason Takes Manhattan was, uh, uh, was, uh, hey Ken, do you want to be the stunt coordinator and play Jason? And uh, so I came very close actually to playing Jason in, uh, in Jason Takes Manhattan. And uh, so, I don't know, maybe it was just meant to be. But uh, yeah, it, uh, that's how it all happened. First time I met Robert was in the makeup trailer uh, when I first day of filming, and uh, and I walked in and uh, he said, "Well, Kenny goes, we'll be seeing each other for the rest of our lives," <laughs> and I had no idea why or how or anything. And so I asked him. He, said, he goes, "Conventions." He goes, "I'll tell you all about it," <laughs> and uh, the rest is history. What is it? All these years later, and uh, you know, I see Robert and his uh, his beautiful wife Nancy at three or four conventions a year now, and, and uh, you know, we've become good friends. And uh, I call him our, our generation's Vincent Price, you know, he's uh, just a class guy all the way. And, and uh, every time I get to hang out with him and Nancy, it's, it's always a good time.